So Stuart, uh, your thoughts on this afternoon's game? The scoreline obviously looks maybe a little bit more convincing than the, the game planned out. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it was a 3 0 game, but ultimately we're over. I mean, uh, Brian, we, we've been in with the boys all week. Uh, we train well Saturday, we organise Saturday, Tuesday, Thursday, all geared towards the, the cup. There's no doubt about that. It's a, I think in, in the previous season we've let the club down uh, and the fans down in, in some of the Scottish Cup games we've played, so it was. It was vital for us all and the club. Uh, and we know what it means financially as well to get to the next round of the cup. So, uh, a big, big day for, for everybody connected with the club. And, and luckily enough, we've, we've got through. I've seen us play better, but ultimately, it's it's not about the performance, it's, it's about the end result. And, and we've certainly managed to, to go over the line today. So, you, you talk about the importance, uh, and rightly so, of, of, of the competitions at Liberty. Do you think there was maybe a bit of nerves in the way the boys were playing the first half? Uh, if there was, then. Uh, uh, we didn't hide away from the fact how important it was, uh, so we're looking for people to stand up, uh, and I thought we got that. Uh, ultimately, they're a good side there, and we won 3-0 last week, so we've kept a clean sheet against them, so they've got some dangerous players, and, and Michael's got them going fine, so we knew it was not going to be easy, but we beat them, I think, 5-1 in the last game, so you knew they'd be coming back up here, there's no doubt about that, and they did, uh, and the game was close. Uh, I think Paul goes on and turns the game, there's no question that, he goes on and gives you that influence in the opposition's box, which, which we ask of him now. That's where we see him. We see him a bigger threat there now and then deeper on the pitch. Uh, and he, he we get the reaction from him to standing goal to get us on my way. And then after that I thought we were a bit more comfortable at 1 0, but up to that it was there wasn't a lot in the game. Yeah, I thought they had some again, some good chances. Yeah. I think when, yeah. when we played them here and I think we were four 0 Oh yeah, it was never it was never four 0 half. And I felt like the same it. today yeah. that, that as much as we maybe had more possession first half they still some oh yeah, yeah, they got some running around the box because they're neat and tidy and they play some right good stuff. So we knew it'd be difficult, but uh, sometimes you just got to rely on and the guys coming on to finish the game off. And I thought the subs came on and everyone contributed, which is great for us. Yeah, as you talk about, the, the game did seem to change with, with the introduction. No doubt. The There's no doubt, and that's no disrespect to our ones coming off because maybe some of them didn't have their best of games, but ultimately they worked that hard. That the team's tired against so if we play with that, that energy, and maybe maybe just then we're tired a little bit. To, towards the end of it, who knows? Uh, and obviously, when you go one nil up, you're you've always you feel you're a, a yard quicker than what you were before, and, and it's the same if you go go down, you're in your lads a yard slower. Sorry, so uh, we certainly got that today, and so we got the reaction. And ultimately, it was all about the result, wasn't it? Wasn't it a day to worry about who was great, who wasn't great, who didn't have such a good game? It was all about. It. A team getting us over the line uh, and getting the result, which we managed to get. And a good uh, double from uh, from Kane. Yeah, yeah, he was probably lucky to still be in the park at that time because I thought he was having one of his poorer games. Uh, but he, he's a threat. He's a threat. You know that. And you see how much it means to Kane as well to score the first goal. Big Luke does brilliant to 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 play him play him in, and it's a it's a cool finish from him. And that gives you that wee cushion as well because we all know how nervous it can be at one 0 uh, because you're playing against a right good side, so he's a real threat on the break. So, as I say, as I say, we'll stand here all night and go on about it. We're just delighted to be in the round, and it gives something back to the football club. And we're all wanting that as players, and management staff, and coaching staff, uh, and at the fans as well. So, hopefully, we can all look forward to the draw uh, tomorrow. Now, just before we talk about that, just a word on. Uh, on Cami and goal in the defence. Great. Think that's your the first clean sheet in about eight games. Yeah. So yeah. No. We, 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 obviously, we, we decided to go Wade and and Luke and we left Sean on the bench today. We were back four and and Ryan came back in from being ill. So well, I thought the back four were excellent. As I say, the back four with Mike sitting in front of them was great and it keep Edinburgh a clean sheet. You're doing something right. That's for sure. Okay. So just talking then about the, the draw tomorrow night. <coughs> on, the, on the TV, mm -hmm. any kind of thoughts? Just None at all. Then? None at all. Uh, it's just great to be in the round because, I think, as I say, we've underperformed and let the club down and the fans down in, in recent times. So, great to get through a, a tough tie, uh, and we'll just look forward to being in the hat. No doubt about that. And once the ties, oh, sorry, once the draws made, it's obviously a quick focus. Quick focus. Tuesday. Yeah, we'll, we'll freshen up on Tuesday because the guys put a hell of a lot of effort in the day, and then we've got Miller back. Uh, yeah, and then we'll certainly look to maybe freshen it as well uh, a little bit because we've got another big game coming up on the Saturday against Stirling and I guess at our level we're not used to playing three games in a week so it's a, it's a tough schedule for us especially when you're going against Falkirk who are, are absolutely flying at the moment And just a, a quick update maybe on Kerr Kerr we're hoping he'll take part train on, on Thursday so I think Saturday will come too quick for him but he shouldn't be too far away now Excellent, alright Great Thanks stuff, sir. cheers Brian